I have tried to style this up about four times and I take them off every time because I cannot be wearing things like this anymore, my friends. It's 20 to five, my friends, and I've just had the sudden urge to attempt my wardrobe clear out. I, I just, if I don't do it now, this weekend, it's Friday, Friday, by the way, if I don't get stuck into it, I know I'm starting late, but I can do it over the whole weekend. Because if I don't, my friends, I am going to have a nervous breakdown. I have so many clothes, so many clothes coming out of my you know what. And so, yeah, I have to get rid of so much. I do, because I do not have the room. I've already taken over two rooms in this house and my dad was just saying to me, he's gonna build an extension for me just to house all this clothing. It's, it's not even a joke. I have got this wardrobe and one just as big as this in the spare room. I have a rack outside my bedroom door. I have clothes that I sell. I have clothes which are my autumn winter wardrobe over in the other bedroom. And that's what we're gonna to tackle today. This is my spring summer wardrobe. I wanna declutter, get rid of the summery pieces that I'm not gonna be wearing. We are officially in autumn, so, you know, I wanna start wearing autumnal pieces because I'm over summer. I never thought I would say that, but I am my friend. So what I'm gonna do first is take everything out of this wardrobe, and put it on this rack, by the way, this rack is from Amazon. These are the racks that I'm used to working with because I've worked in fashion retail for many, many years, my friends. I needed something high, sturdy, that fits a lot of clothes with wheels that I can move around. It also extends, it's brilliant. I think I'm gonna get myself another one. Let us take everything out first. have shoes that I have to find space for because I've just run out of room and so they're sitting on top of this little shelf that I have here so I'll just put those aside for now you cannot see all these clothes but what we're going to do is go through everything I'm going to decide what I'm getting rid of and what I'm going to continue wearing so this is loungewear so I need to find a space for my loungewear. I don't know where. Okay, this tee is also loungewear, but it does have a bleach stain and I don't wanna be wearing crappy clothes at home. I still wanna feel and look presentable, right? This is also loungewear. So now I have tank tops. Tank tops are something that normally I don't wear in the autumn winter season, but I may just keep some neutrals because we are still having mid twenties weather and I may want to layer up. So I will keep a cream, a blue and a blank. And these tank tops are from H&M. I love the cut. I just love them. They're $9.99. They're 100% cotton. Oh, actually, I think they have 5 or 2% elastine. They're just beautiful. They feel so nice on the body. They are so flattering, and I just love them. As for my ribbed tanks, white, gray, and black, I will put them aside because I'm taking all my spring summer clothing over into the studio wardrobe and in that wardrobe is all my autumn winter which is going to come in here so these will stay on the rack but we'll we'll put them right at the back okay this is a linen black and white striped tank that I love that summery also so now we move into the tees I have a black and white baby tee by Nude Lucy. I wore the hell out of these this summer. When spring summer rolls around next season, I normally replace the old ones with something more modern and current and donate these. But at the moment, I don't have a replacement. So they can go to the back as well. I have this little polo cropped top, which can go to the back as well. This is a tee that I will wear autumn, winter. It's kind of like a knit, black and white stripe 
basic, perfect. So I'll put that in there. I will keep this one because it's Adidas and it's classic. This red and white one, I will keep. This Dolphins one, I will keep. Then I have this graphic tee, which is a recent purchase from H&M. This hanger is for this tee that I'm wearing. This is a Suzanne top that I thrifted. I love this. I think it is autumnal. So I still want to wear that. I'm not over that piece. This t-shirt with the exaggerated ruffle is from Zara. I bought it a couple of sales ago. It's black and neutral. I love it. I have a couple of long sleeve t-shirts so i have a baseball one which is great for autumn i have a stripe one that's kind of fitted great for layering h&m these are both by h&m by the way as for this top i thrifted this it's nautical i love the sleeve it's off the shoulder i will get some wear out of this and then i will donate when it gets into the colder colder weather because it's not great quality but i just love the the vibe so i'll put that back in there also now we have some little strapless tops and boob tubes and really summery pieces this is so cute this strapless top i got it from hawaii urban outfitters love and this one is a cotton on navy and white striped strapless top and it kind of ties in the front this one i think I will be letting go of because I'm kind of over it. So that can go in the summer wardrobe. Then I have this cute little one by Zara. I just wore this today and photographed it, so that can go. I have this little bustier top, which is really cute. I thrifted that and I've worn that a few times, so that can go. This is a little summer cami that I've had for so many years. I never part with it because it's beautiful quality. It's very light, gauzy fabric. It's just, flattering and easy and I always take it with me on holidays so that I'm keeping and um, this is my one and only broidery on glaze little summer top off the shoulder Zara cute this I thrifted a little off shoulder top but it keeps falling off my shoulders because it's too big so that's going this is a Zara piece I bought on the sale I'll leave this one till next season this is a cute little linen set shorts and top summery so this is a pink tank top and I don't think I'm going to wear it in autumn. This is a cropped little top by Zara. I feel that this color is autumnal. Beautiful vintage top that I thrifted. Actually, this was a dress and I chopped it and it's just absolutely stunning. I love it. So I think I can still wear that. Okay, this top, I've tried to style it up a couple of times and I just don't like it on me. It's too fitted. I prefer a short sleeve roll neck that is kind of a little bit more relaxed and not as structured around the neck also. So that I think I will either sell or donate. This is a top that I've had for so many years. I got it from New York. This is a top that I don't think I will ever be over. It's a primary color. It's kind of classic. I love this collar, this black and white trim. I also wear it this way for a high neck. It's just, I don't know, I love it. So I'm gonna keep that. This top I thrifted, I'm definitely over this. I wore it a couple of times, I'm just over it. Now this is a gorgeous, gorgeous top. See all those ruffles? It's stunning, high neck, it's vintage, it buttons all the way down, I love that. And I know it's sleeveless, but it may be good for layering. Yes, I think I will. This is quite summery. This sleeveless shirt that I bought from TK Maxx. I love that. So that can go. This is a Suzanne red and white striped sleeveless shirt that can go in the back as well. This I thrifted. I love the colors. It's very autumnal. I love this collar. This piece is gorgeous, beautiful blouse vintage it's very similar in tone one's print and one's block so i also have this one which is vintage it has that beautiful collar that i love so i'm gonna keep that one as well this is a free people shirt that i've had for so many years it's a summer piece i wear it every single summer 
I'll never part with it. This is a white button down shirt that has had its day. I've already bought a replacement, so I'm going to part with that. This is a H&M striped shirt and so is this one. This one's cotton, this one's linen. They have survived every declutter so far and I think I'm going to keep them because they're just classic. This is vintage short sleeve men's shirt that's summer. This is a striped grey shirt that I always wear in autumn so that can go there. Now this is also a striped shirt in grey but it's lighter and more summery than the other piece so I'll put that yellow little check print shirt vintage when it comes to shirts my friends they are my go-to i love vintage shirts so for me they are forever pieces i don't really get rid of them if i have duplicates or if i have you know three or four in one color i try to narrow it down and i may not even wear a couple this autumn winter but i know that i don't want to part with them because come next season i will wear them because you can wear shirts throughout the year the only exception is if the shirt is in a very summery color like a yellow anything too bright even linen i'm not going to wear in the winter time so i love this this vintage shirt it's so stunning this green oh actually that's that's autumnal so i put that there whereas this one is more summery and i've already worn this it's a green stripe i thrifted this sport sports craft so that can go and I think this one feels really summery as well. It's a Benetton vintage shirt. A lot of my shirts are men's. This is men's. This one's also men's. The yellow one was men's. The grey stripe one. The blue stripe one. Never skip the men's department when you are thrifting, my friends. So this is a chambray shirt by Zara. I feel like I'm over this. I haven't reached for it for a long time. So that can go. This is vintage. A denim shirt I absolutely love love the tone of this it looks so cool on can't wait to wear it this is also summery red white and blue men's shirt love it this is a black beautiful vintage Katie's shirt that I thrifted oversized can't wait to wear that as well okay now we're moving to pink shirts I have four okay so this one is absolutely gorgeous absolutely stunning vintage i love the ruffles it's sheer so i would say this is spring summer so that can go now this is a men's pastel beautiful shirt i think that can go here this one i think is very spring vintage i've had it for so many years maybe five years it's absolutely gorgeous i will never ever part with it one of my most beloved thrift finds so that can go so this is a vintage katie's blouse and i think this pink is definitely something that i can winterize but i'm going to separate my shirts into cotton shirts and then the silky type of shirts this shirt vintage absolutely stunning but just too big on me it's absolutely gorgeous but yeah i have to let it go now this one is very sweet vintage polka dot fits me really well good for autumn so now this is my beautiful equipment blouse and a gorgeous lilac that i got from america i will never part with that same with this one vintage absolutely love it that color is amazing and look at this collar it is so quirky so cute love this i know i'm going to part with i have tried to style this a couple of times and i just it's just not for me it's not my style so that is going this blouse is so beautiful it's karen walker navy polka dots i will never be over a polka dot my friends never same goes for this blouse vintage navy they're not polka dots but they are very cute and I love it. Now this piece. This piece I have to I have to let go because I love it so much. I do. I love the stripe. I love the ruffle at the front. But this is a size 18, my friends. It's way too big on me. Don't get me wrong, my friends. I have sizes in my wardrobe that range from a size 8 to up to an 18. I don't care about the number on the tag. I really don't. If I did, I would not have 
half of the beautiful vintage clothing that I do. When I am searching for those treasures in an op shop, I look through every single size, every single size. But this one is, you can see, you can look at it and see how big it is. When I put it on, there's just all this fabric on the side. It doesn't sit nicely on the shoulder. And so I'm gonna give this one to my mum. This is a beautiful black and white stripe, silky type of shirt by H&M, old, old H&M. It's so beautiful. The cut, the collar, the the sleeve it's just made so beautifully so i love that and this one this is a pretty recent find vintage i love the contrasting collar and cuff i also make thrift content for my reels and my shorts that i don't necessarily show in a video so you may have missed it so yeah i love that this is another forever piece a black with white polka dot beautiful beautiful vintage shirt love it i've had it for years i will keep it for years as i will this one in a block black color and it has a beautiful texture to it has like a little kind of pebble effect or something and it has this gorgeous necktie as well and i love a necktie i think it's so sexy so definitely keeping that okay we are done a lot more room here i still do have a lot that i need to add now we are going to move over to the other side of my wardrobe where i keep dresses pants skirts jeans shorts that kind of thing okay hopefully you can get a good view of everything let's continue my friends this is a lightweight blazer that I cannot seem to let go of. I've had it for many, many years. It may even be 10 years now. It's just so unique and it is slimmer in the sleeve. I'm all about a wide sleeve at the moment, but sometimes it's nice to have a fitted blazer that's not so wide in the sleeves or in the shape. It's sexy and you can almost wear it as a top with a pair of pants or jeans. It's just very sexy. It's a beautiful blazer with a diamond print and I think it's just a forever piece that I'm gonna keep in my wardrobe. I didn't get to wear this. It was just too hot and now that we're moving into autumn, I think it's too bright and summery. Even though we are in autumn, it, it doesn't feel like it. It's still mid 20s, so I can, I can wear this at least once, so yeah. This one will go back in. This is another summery blazer. I love it. It's a great autumn blazer, so I'm going to keep it here. This is a H&M piece, and I wear this as a denim jacket, a little crop denim jacket. But yeah, I love this. This is a beautiful, beautiful summery knit boho kind of sleeveless duster jacket and this is summery so that can go. I thrifted this dress. I've worn it a few times but not this spring summer. It's so cute. I don't want to part with it so I'll keep that. Okay my friends, this is stunning. Look at this dress. This is vintage. I did a shorts video about this dress, styling it up two ways, in a casual way and a dressed up way. And so unless you saw that shorts video, this is the first time you were seeing this dress, but look at that statement sleeve. Look at this print. It's so exaggerated. What is it? I don't even know what it is, but I love it. That is staying. I have worn this. I think this is more summery. I don't know if I'll wear this one more time. Will I? Perhaps I will style this up one more time. So this little suit I thrifted. I found the skirt first and the reason I took it was to wear it in my Grecian style video. Yeah, it looked beautiful in the video. And then months later, I found the matching top, but I have not reached for it all spring or summer. I know these colors can be autumnal as well, but I'm not gonna wear this. I haven't reached for it. I just don't think it's me, so. Okay, now this dress, I had it on my shop for sale. Someone bought it and then they never ended up paying for it on eBay. You do get people that will bid on something, they win it and then they just ghost you. And let me tell you, I was so happy that she didn't pay for it because I was going through old photos and I wear this dress every time I travel. It's a great airport dress because you can roll up the sleeves it's gauzy and soft and sometimes i wear it buttoned to the waist and leave it open over jeans it's so beautiful and i'm just so glad that she never ended up paying for it because how could i get rid of something 
so amazing this piece is amazing i am over this dress i thrifted it i wore it once to a bridal shower but when i wore this dress it's just not really me so yeah i'm gonna part with this this is a free people dress would you believe it's tiered i used to wear it as a dress but as of late i've been wearing it as a top i tuck it into a beautiful full skirt it looks gorgeous i love this deep v keyhole it's free people and just a piece that i'm never going to get rid of but i'll put that over in the top section because i don't wear it as a dress this is another dress that i'm going to part with I thrifted this as well. It's linen. It's a deep V button through dress with a little tear on the bottom. But you know what? This is not me. I did wear it a couple of times, but it's just not me. So that can go as well. I've had this dress for ages. I love it. I wear it every spring, summer. Every spring, summer. I love it. It's just so cute i love shirt dresses another summer dress linen blue with this plaid panel on the side i thrifted this as well i built it now and i love it i simply love it this is me same as this dress this is a shirt dress sleeveless collar and the way it's cut on the arm it kind of goes in like that it's just so flattering again i built this now it's got Pockets in the front. This is a fantastic travel dress. Just perfect. I love that. Same with this dress. Very similar vibe. You can see that I'm very into classic, you know, button through dresses. I just love them. This one I thrifted. Blue and white stripe. It's got pockets. I built it. I wore it in Hawaii. It's just such a great find. I think I did a reel of this dress. So you may not have seen it if you're not following me on Instagram. It is just a beautiful, beautiful dress by Camilla and Mark. It has pockets. It's a little A-line shape. Of course, I built it. It has ties in the little straps. It's just a beautiful dress. This is also a beautiful dress that I thrifted. I do love this one. It's long. It's got splits on the side. It's in this beautiful tan and white stripe. It's just an easy effortless travel dress and also wear at home where I live on the central coast it's very coasty so I love it I love this dress it's linen a little teed skirt pockets halter neck backless this is me as opposed to this kind of dress this is a little beach dress from free people it's a stretchy ribbed fabric and it's got pockets little buttons on the side, halter neck, exposed back. I wear it every summer to the beach. And that's it for dresses. This is a jumpsuit. It's from the 70s. It's vintage. I thrifted it. Straight neckline. It's very form fitting and probably as scandalous as I get because this, there's no way to hide in this jumpsuit, my friends. But you know what? I love it. I do love it. So that is not going anywhere. Okay, now moving into skirts. This is probably one of my favorite skirts that I've ever thrifted. You can wear it in spring, in autumn, in summer, in winter. It's just that piece. I love it. I wear it every three months. I will wear it. I will style it up in a different way. It's vintage and it's my carry Bradshaw skirt. Now this skirt is stunning with this silver lurex, the beautiful soft pink. I have styled it in a few videos, but it's never made it on the streets. And I simply must, must wear it this autumn with a knit and these shoes. Yes. Got a couple of skirts here. First up is this vintage pleated skirt. I've worn it a lot, but am I over it? I don't know. I don't think I am. I'm going to keep this. It's too cute. But this one, I am going to part with my friends. I love it. It's a polka dot with a contrasting larger polka dot. However, the silhouette, it's very dressy. It's just not something that I've reached for since I've thrifted it. It's just, yeah, it's too dressy. It's a Q skirt. I haven't reached for it. I'm not going to reach for it. So that can go. Now, these two skirts. 
This one is vintage and it's in a soft, gauzy fabric. It's absolutely stunning. I always take it with me on holidays. That is not going anywhere. A forever skirt. And this is my linen Suzanne skirt, polka dots with a teed skirt. I love it. It's long, it's dramatic, it's romantic. These are going back into my summer wardrobe. Boho pants. I love, 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 love boho pants. I love the vibe and these are from America, but they are summer. I also have this blue pair, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then I have these pants, my friends. These are stunning. I thrifted these, they are vintage. The color, the, the print, the shape, they are just an unbelievable pair of pants that I will never part with. This color is just to die for. And it matches a bag that I got from Bali. Is that not? stunning my friends it's just oh my god let's move into my bermuda shorts i have a lot so i have a vintage pair that i absolutely love so black of course is autumn winter so that can go back in this blue i will put in my summer wardrobe navy navy is a great color for autumn winter but i have worn the navy ones quite a bit this summer so i'll put them into summer as well. I also have a yellow pair and a light blue pair which can go over in the summer wardrobe. I have two white pairs. One pair I recently thrifted. I was going to see which ones I preferred and sell the other pair. I think I'm going to sell those and keep this longer pair. I also have another black pair which are in a dressier fabric that I got from H&M. These are gorgeous. These I wore a lot this spring summer, so I'll put them over in the summer wardrobe as well. So we'll have a black more casual pair and then a black dressier pair. I have a couple of shorts that I thrifted. They're both vintage. I loved them so much when I saw them, but they do not suit me. This is the style of shorts that I love. They're longer, they're a flat front, even though they have very slight pleating, it's a flat front and there's maybe one or two pleats, whereas these just make me look bigger than I am and they're shorter, they show more leg. I'm gonna pass on both of these, the green ones and this gorgeous lilac color. You, you would not believe how excited I got when I found these, but you know, if you don't feel good in something, let it go. I thrifted this green pair, they are Zara, but I'm over them. This pair is so beautiful. I got these from Urban Outfitters in America. They're linen, a beautiful floral print, and I love these. So now I have a couple of pleated skirts. They're both vintage and very similar. One has an elastic waist with this gorgeous white trim. The other skirt is kind of like a drop waist with the little pleats. And I'm gonna keep them both because I love them and they are very different. This skirt I am going to part with. I thrifted this, it's absolutely gorgeous. I've never reached for it, therefore I'm not gonna wear it. This skirt I am never gonna part with. Well, it's, it's a skirt actually. It's got little bike shorts underneath. I know it looks like a tennis skirt, but it's so beautifully made, it's vintage. Look at the details. I wear it every single spring, summer. I absolutely love it. This was a new piece that I bought this spring, summer. And so that can go. Now these two pieces, when I saw this, I just fell in love with it. It's a little skort. I have tried to style this up about four times and I take them off every time because I cannot be wearing things like this anymore, my friends. The jig is up, I am 51 years old. This is not age appropriate, it's not. This skirt, I did wear it. I did wear it this spring, summer, and I think I'm over it. And I know what you're thinking too. You're thinking age appropriate, who cares? I hate that phrase. Wear whatever you want. If you can get away with it, why not? If you feel good in it, why not? If you have the body for it, why not? I too subscribe to this way of thinking, my friends. However, I will explain further in a video that I am working on at the moment about reinventing your style and finding your personal style in your 50s and beyond. I'm very excited about this video and I will 
elaborate further in that video. Okay? I don't think I'm getting rid of any of my jeans because I love jeans. Jeans are just, they go with everything. I'm really happy with my jeans selection at the moment, but let's go through them anyway. This is a pair of balloon jeans. Black Levi's love. These also have a balloon-like leg, but they are vintage and in this beautiful blue wash. So I have a black and a blue voluminous pair of jeans, love. Now these are my wedgie jeans in this gorgeous faded blue, love, love, love. And another pair of wedgie jeans in this charcoal color. In case you were wondering, wedgie jeans are Levi's and they're my favorite style. They're a mid to high rise. They are so comfortable and more importantly, the reason they're called wedgie is because they make your bum look so good, my friends. I'm telling you, get your hands on a pair of wedgie jeans. I also have a pair of skinny jeans. Well, they're not that skinny, but they're more of a slim. And these are great for boots. So when I want to tuck them into boots. So all these jeans are Levi's. These are another pair of wedgie jeans, but in a darker blue and I think these are my favorite jeans of the moment. I love them. More jeans. These are a pair of H&M black jeans straight leg with no stretch. Love. This is a skirt that I thrifted and wore in Bali and thought to myself why on earth did you think you can get away with wearing a skirt like this? I will not be wearing that again that's for sure. These I put on one morning and my cousin looked at me and she did this little eye roll. I looked like a clown. I really did. And I said, no, I, I, I can't wear these. My cousin looked at me and said, thank God. So goodbye to those. And goodbye to these because these are H&M black jeans with stretch. I hate stretch in my jeans. I'm about a rigid denim. That's why I got these to replace these because when they have stretch, they're not flattering. Your bum doesn't look good. They kind of bag around the leg. They start getting this, this, this banding because of the elastane in the jeans. Look, it's just not a good look. Don't buy jeans with stretch. I know they're comfortable, but you're not doing yourself any favors. Love these jeans as well. These are my H&M gray jeans, rigid denim, love. I have one pair of white jeans. These are from Zara. They are rigid and my only pair of white jeans. So they can stay. These are my good American jeans, very relaxed and a nice straight leg, sturdy denim, love them. These are my beloved vintage jeans that I love so much, even though they are not the most flattering on me. And by that, I mean, they don't really make my bum look great, but because I love them so very much, this is probably the only pair that I wear, regardless of how they make my bum look. I just make sure that I don't take any photographs from the back when I'm in those jeans. These are a pair of Zara jeans. Do they have a little bit of stretch? Maybe 1%. They're kind of a little flared jean. These are very boho vibes. I love the color of these too. Gorgeous. Another pair of Zara jeans, which are a darker wash, vintage vibe, straight leg. So I love those as well. I absolutely love these assembly label shorts to death. I bought them retail, of course, but I bought them half price. I love them so much. These are my H&M Bermuda shorts, which I also love to death. These are my paper bag, high waist, Zara shorts, which I also love to death. These are a pair of cargo pants that I cut into shorts because I did not like them on me as pants. I don't mind them as shorts, but it's not love. It's not love. I'm going to let them go. And these shorts, my friends, they're so naughty. They are. They're really, look, I'm not really a naughty girl, okay? But I love these. They're beautiful. They're beautiful, they're high-waisted, and when I'm feeling really confident, I wear them, and I always take them with me when I travel, so I love those. 
Let's move into my track pants. They're all Adidas. I'm a huge fan. I love the way they look and I love how I feel in them. So these Adidas track pants are more of a slim line in the shiny fabric. I'm keeping all of them, but I'm just gonna show you guys. And I love wearing these, the shiny version, with a white button up shirt and white trainers. Just trust me. And then I have that kind of parachute material. I love these as well. All these track pants that I'm showing you are from the men's section. I love the men's Adidas more than the women's and I get them all in a size small. And then I have a black pair that's cotton. I live in these in the winter time. I got the burgundy with the black stripe. I love the burgundy. And I have a grey pair as well in the cotton. Okay, so now I've got some trouser pants and a couple of track pants. These are vintage baseball track pants. They're gorgeous. I wear them every single autumn and winter. These are a treasure find. I thrifted these in Hawaii. They're white, blue and red stripe. I think they're really cool. And these ones are by Nordica. These are a classic pair of black trousers from H&M. They're so simple, but they're just beautiful. They're a beautiful cut. They're very flattering. They're a high waist. The leg is just gorgeous. I love them. I've had them for a couple of years. These are a pair of burgundy pants that I thrifted, but they're too big and I'm not going to keep them. I was going to style them up with a belt, but they're just way too big in the bum. They're just too big. I'm being ridiculous. These pants I thrifted. You may have seen them in a reel. A beautiful trouser pant with a classic leg, flat front, little bit of pleating. That's what I love. So, okay. These pants are beautiful as well in a beige, but these ones I think have a huge stain somewhere and I didn't even notice it when I bought them. I'm not sure if you can see that stain. I'll have to style them up and see if it's really noticeable. And if it is, then I'll have to part with them. But I want to at least give them a go. I think we're going to leave it there for today. I'll pick this up tomorrow, which for you will be in three, two, one. I am back, my sweet friends, and I am psyched to complete this wardrobe clear out slash organization. You know what? I already started editing this video last night. I'm already 30 minutes in and we're not even halfway through because of my rambling and wanting to share my obsession with clothing and why I'm getting rid of certain pieces as opposed to why I am keeping certain pieces. I did a poll on my Instagram. I wanted you guys to let me know what you want to see. Do you want a long rambly detailed video? Do you want a short video with more of a time-lapse montage or do you want it broken into two parts? This remains to be seen. I'm going to check the results tonight and I will edit the way you guys want to see it. Today we are going to continue to refill my autumn winter wardrobe. I'm going to begin with adding some new thrifted pieces to my wardrobe. You would have seen this in my most recent thrift with me. Love this. I am excited to wear this. You would have seen this in a recent thrift with me as well. This is a bib front white shirt, but this is too dressy for me. So I'm going to sell that one. This one I love. So looking forward to wearing that. What about this one from my vintage haul? Love, love that. That is stunning. And this one too from my thrift with me. That's gorgeous. I love that. Ooh, I'm so excited to wear these pieces. Now for some recent retail purchases. I did show you guys this piece on my stories and a few of you went and bought one too. This is a great piece. A gorgeous short sleeve roll neck knit from Suzanne Gray. 10 bucks it was reduced to. Amazing. This is my new white button down from H&M. This is also a new button down in this gorgeous stripe from H&M. Hopefully you guys were able to pick up a few pieces from that video, my H&M sales haul, because these pieces are great, including this stunning little ruffle collar blouse. Love. And this 
very cozy, comfy loungewear set. Okay, so now I will insert all the dresses, bottoms. Love, love, love this gorgeous dress from my recent thrift. This was from a recent thrift with me as well. This little teared mini skirt. I haven't worn that yet and I want to. And this one as well from my recent thrift with me. It's quite formal though. No, I'm going to keep it over this side because I want to shoot this piece because I think it's gorgeous. And this gorgeous thing, so cute. Now this piece, I am just so wowed by it. It's absolutely stunning vintage, but it was very snug on me, my friends. But I have to at least try and wear it one day and shoot it because I love it so much. And if it's comfortable, I will keep it. And if I decide it's still too tight, I'll sell it then. Same with this piece. That vintage haul was amazing. Just amazing pieces. I love this as well. This one, so cute, love it. And finally, this gorgeous midi navy pleated skirt. I love this so much. And a couple of pants. I love these so much. They were a little generous on me, but I just have to try and make them work. And of course, these gorgeous pants, the wide leg check pants. Can't wait to style those up as well. Now, this dress, I think I may sell this. I think I will because I don't see myself wearing it. Now I'm going to go through some resort pieces and I'm going to store them. They take up too much room in the wardrobe and I need the room. I have under the bed storage boxes, which I will show you and I'll put them all in there. These are my storage boxes that I get from Kmart and they just slide under their bed. They fit a lot. It's just a great way to store pieces that you're not gonna be using for at least six months. That way your wardrobe reflects the current season and is not cluttered with clothing that you're not gonna wear for six months, right? I have two. I want to put all my sandals and summery resort shoes in one and all the clothing in the other one. But bring in my autumn winter and see if there's anything that I'm over from last year and do a clear out of that section as well. So BRB. Now these bottoms are taking up a lot of room in my wardrobe. I do not know where I'm going to fit coats. I think I'm going to have to have a rail just outside my door with all my coats and just pull from there. This is a tracksuit bottom that I thrifted. I love them. This is a pair of Adidas bottoms in navy, but they are a little snug on me and they're very thick. So I think I will sell those. And this is a gorgeous pair of wool charcoal trouser pants that I will never part with. I have a pair of faux chocolate shorts that I thrifted. I do want to style these up. A wool little mini skirt that I thrifted. I will sell that. A tan suede vintage skirt that I thrifted. I will sell that as well. A gorgeous plaid skirt that I thrifted with pockets. These two skirts, my friends, are amazing and I cannot wait to wear them. This is another tartan skirt that I've had in my wardrobe for many seasons. Now, is it similar? I think I just have to keep them all because tartan skirts are my favorite skirt in the wintertime. So I'm going to keep them all. I definitely want to shoot this gorgeous skirt with, again, 
those shoes wow and what about this amazing velour pleated skirt in this steel blue color this is just stunning i've got way too many skirts way way too many skirts vintage box pleat polka dots i'm gonna get rid of that one too because i'm not really into the box pleat as much as just the small pleats this one i've had in my wardrobe for years it's so different made in italy i'm gonna hold on to this piece a black with a tiny white polka dot pleated skirt i do love that one i also have this gorgeous boho teed skirt which i named my stevie nicks skirt because she is also one of my style icons so i have to keep this this has survived many 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 a clear out Never going to part with it. This is a H&M dress. I've worn it once. I'm not really into it, so I will sell that one. This is gorgeous. I still love it, of course, because it's in a plaid. I just love the style as well. It's really beautiful. And I love a long sleeve dress. If you did not catch my reel, I thrifted this. My cousin actually found this for me. It is a little big, but styled in the right way, I can make it work and I just love it. Look at the skirt, it's teared, it's just beautiful. Another forever piece, this dress I will never part with. It's by Marge, it's a wool dress, gorgeous silhouette with pockets, long sleeve. I love it. This dress is also a forever piece. I just absolutely love it. It's free people. It's just so 70s inspired. Little boho. It reminds me of my mum. So this will never leave my wardrobe. This dress is too big on me. It was from H&M. It's just one piece that was so amazing. I had to get it even though it's a size, I think, 14. It's a size 16. So that I am going to sell as well. Let's switch over to tops. I think I'm over this piece. Yes, I am. I think I may be even over this piece, but it's cute. So I'll hold on to that. Vintage rugby shirt, vintage rugby shirt that I cropped. Am I over these pieces? No. H&M, over it. Zara, not over it. I thrifted this. Am I over it? I just wear this kind of stuff around the house, so I'll hold on to that as well. H&M Varsity Sweatshirt, yes. Zara Little Cropped Sweatshirt, yes. My New York Sweatshirt, always. My H&M Black Sweatshirt with a hoodie, always. Another Varsity sweat top i'll hold on to that as well this is an argyle piece vintage i will sell these are a couple of thermal tops from free people i love them and always wear them a simple fine knit from h&m love that too a sports craft sweater vest love that as well this one i have had for so many years i think i'm going to part with this one still obsessed with this striped knit. A vintage fine knit wool sweater, high neck, love that. A fine knit turtleneck from H&M with a gorgeous stripe, love that. And two stunning pieces from Lily Silk, which I am still obsessed with. A shirt and a little cap sleeve, love both. <laughs> Okay, my friends, I've done a bit of sorting out. I've only cleared out two bags. I'm selling this one. It's just not me. This, I'm not this girl. And this one, it's vintage. It's adorable, cute color, but 
I just don't have any outfits that go with this color. So I'm selling that. Also going to sell this little beanie. I'm also going to sell this red knitted cap with the little rose. And I'm going to sell this scarf. As you can see, I have all my coats. I cannot keep all of these coats. I just can't. 37 coats, my friends. Yes, 37. And I don't even live in a climate where I can wear these coats. The truth is it barely gets to zero degrees. This collection of outerwear is for someone who lives in Canada, not, not someone who lives in Central Coast, New South Wales. So you may have seen my shorts video where I thrifted two vintage skirts, a burgundy one and a navy one. I'm going to sell both of these. I think I'm good in the skirt department, my friends. This was essentially my puffer sleeveless vest, gilet, that I would wear every weekend to watch my kid play soccer. I bought this from Esprit. It was quite expensive, but you know, this is a classic piece and just a great piece for when you do travel to colder destinations. So this is staying. I have tried to style this up, but I just cannot, I just cannot. I'm not keeping this one. This one, vintage, gorgeous black and white check. It's, it's gorgeous, but it has no collar and therein lies the problem, my friends. For some reason, when I wear a coat or jacket without a collar, it throws me off. So I've decided I'm not keeping any coats or blazers with no collar. So this one's going. This was a navy and white vintage duster jacket. Again, no collar. I don't want that. This is also vintage. A tiny hound's tooth. But again, my friends, no collar. I'll sell that as well. You may have seen this in my reel. This is a beautiful color, vintage. But you know what, my friends? I'm not gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna sell it. In my shorts video, I found this vintage tartan jacket. This is so different and I just wanna shoot this, this blazer. No, I'm gonna sell it. This was also part of that shorts video. This is a red wool blazer. I also have another red wool double-breasted blazer. You know how much I love a double-breasted blazer, but do I prefer this one? I'm gonna try both on and only pick one. There's something about a double-breasted blazer or coat that just gets me every time, you guys. I just love. Okay, so it's gorgeous. It's oversized, but not too big on the shoulders. Okay, that's that one. This is a single breasted blazer. This is a more tailored fit, but the double breasted one is more my vibe. So I'm keeping that one. So I found this cobalt blue one as well. I do not have one in this color. So what do I do? It's got pockets, gold vintage buttons, but they start kind of low. It's a really good fit on the shoulders, but am I in love? Am I going to wear this? Nope. No, nope. no. Nope. So I am definitely keeping this one. It's just beautiful. It's double breasted. I just love it. I'm also going to keep this coat, my friends. It's a full length coat, my only full length coat. It's in a very, very, very dark blue. It almost looks black. I have worn this and I do, do love it. So that I'm keeping. This one was in my most recent vintage try on haul. It's just a little too boxy, a little too heavy in the shoulders for my frame. So that one, no. And this one, I did like this one on me, but I will try it on just to make sure. The hair needs to be back so I can have full view of how the shoulders look because that's the kind of make or break for me. I do love this. Again, double breasted. It's a little big on the shoulders. Can you see? Can you see how it kind of, there's my shoulder and it kind of drops just a few inches. Okay, now that I'm not holding the phone, I can really see how huge it is on me. It's not flattering. 
so that's going. This is a recent purchase from the Zara sale. A gorgeous single breasted cream blazer. I did not own a cream blazer and I wanted one and this one is stunning. I do have this coat. It's by Miller's. I'm not sure if it's vintage. I kind of like the way it fit on me but do I still like it or am I over it? This is the question. It's it's so different. It's kind of a casual little throw on, almost like a pea coat, as opposed to a very classic blazer. So I'm gonna keep this. This is my one and only vintage faux shirling jacket with the toggle buttons that I absolutely love. So I'm keeping that. This is a long line, single breasted tan blazer from H&M. I was absolutely in love with this blazer and I had one in black, but I sold the black one, but I did keep the tan. But am I still into it? I don't know if I am still into this. It's really long and it kind of comes out down the bottom, doesn't it? Is that flattering or not? I think I'm going to hold on to it because I don't have a blazer in this color. I have a chocolate brown blazer that I will never part with. It's so classic. I love it. I also have a herringbone tan coat slash jacket. Oh yes. Oh yes. 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 This is my one and only green double breasted plaid blazer. So I'll keep that. This is the black blazer of my dreams. That is going nowhere. This is my black and white plaid coatigan, which again is going nowhere. I love that. This was a gorgeous find from the Bowral Thrift With Me. A beautiful, classic tweed, dressy kind of Chanel vibes coat. Just so stunning. Okay, I have four trench coats. Who on earth needs four trench coats. I remember when I had one, actually I had none. And then I went to the States and I bought my Navy one by Michael Stars. And this was my one and only trench coat. It's just beautiful. So this I'll keep. Now I have to narrow it down between this cream sporty one, this vintage, gorgeous, rusty tan one, and this classic David Jones camel one. Tailored, structured, gorgeous. Keeping that. Now, which one out of these two do I part with? This one, it's not structured at all. I'm gonna sell that, am I? By Madame D. No, by Musse D. Gosh, I'm going blind. You wouldn't want me to, to be signing any legal documents or reading anything of importance without my glasses, my friends. I could get into deep, deep trouble. No, I'm, I'm going to sell it. So should I keep this one? I don't need three trench coats. I'm going to sell it. Cardigans. This was in my recent vintage haul. But I'm going to sell it. You know why? Because I have this one. It's a grandpa cardi and this is more me. A man style, old school vibe is so much more me. I love that. I just, I love that. Okay, this is another piece that I don't think I'll ever part with. It's a waterfall cardigan with a hoodie. The sleeves are kind of like a bell sleeve. That's not going anywhere. I got this from H&M last winter in their sale. That's gorgeous. I'm gonna keep that. That's, that's beautiful. Oh yes, I remember this. This is cute to layer over a pretty blouse because it's a little short sleeve cape. It's very fancy and I'm not a fancy person, am I? No, I'm gonna sell it. This coat again. I just love the color. I, I just, I'm gonna keep this. And then I have a poncho, which my mum bought for me. It's vintage. I'll never, I'll never part with this, never. Okay, so that is it for the coats. Oh my God, I need to count. I need to count how many I have now. 23, still still excessive in my opinion, but you know, I need, I need them. I just need them, I just do. So,
that is it my friends that is everything I got rid of there's quite a lot here and as I work through my wardrobe and I dress myself every day and I decide what's me what isn't me I may shoot it once and think yep I love it or I may decide no this is not me it was fun for a day but not me this was a long one I know I know but you guys asked for it I hope that I have inspired you guys to get stuck into your wardrobe, clear it out. Organization is just, I'm a bit of a freak actually when it comes to organization. I love everything to have its place. My mind functions better when my surroundings are organized. So my friends, that is a wrap on another wardrobe clear out organization switch over. Until next season, of course, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope I see you in my next one.